Welcome back to Let's Play Metroid Samus Returns. I'm your host, Ultra Director Jester, with the Niskull. I'm, uh, really excited about this one. Well, cool. A couple reasons. One, uh, I, I really like this, this area. This, uh, area, what is this, five? Maybe my favorite area in the game? Bar none. We're also going to be getting an ability that the game goes, all right, Congratulations, it's over now. You've, ma you've made it this far, now there's nothing that can give you any any great challenge except for the difficult bosses coming up. That took so much damage! What the fuck did you get hit by up there? Yeah, uh, the things that have spikes and hard shell- th those things especially those really things hurt. Dude, that much damage? Yeah, they hurt a lot. Yeah, I found that the uh, wave beam kind of works pretty good on those. Oh, oh was it beam. this thing, or was it the other things? It's- it's everything's. Everything's hurt? <laughs> But I really like this because of the you know, there's a great Ooh. song playing in the back. It's yeah. uh, it's nice and tropical. It's like oh, I didn't think that uh, place this nice would be this deep below SR388. But lo and behold, maybe it's just like the the underneath from yeah. Kong I versus uh, Godzilla. Maybe ow 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 out of my way! Fuck! Oh yeah, Woo. all the owies. Everything there. hurts. So right now we're just uh, kind of making our way over to. Where this is. Making our this, way uh, downtown. This this special uh <laughs> special little uh item we're gonna get. It's 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 gonna be great. I'm so excited. I noticed so excited. I noticed uh, on your little mini map there, it still has the Metroid from last time when we scanned the amiibos. Hmm. Sure hmm. enough. There he is. Sure enough. <laughs> Go get it. Uh, we'll get him uh, a little a little later. Wait a minute. Is it just highlighting all Metroids because I scanned that once? I think it's just one. Because I can confirm that when the reserve tanks go away, they can come back. Oh, really? Without the use of an amiibo. Interesting. Hey, right. there, well, is. there he is! Oh. There he is! You uh, pinged him on his pager. He's he's ready for a fight. So there's a couple of fun things you can do with, uh, with, with this level in particular. What's that? Well, first of all, we saw that there was only one Metroid, right? And, well, there he is! We killed him! Wait a minute. That's only a one? Actually, wait, there's seven, my bad. Last one was I seven. was about to say... I'm getting my errors confused. The next one is the one that has just... Anyway. This is the jungle. Welcome to the jungle, Samus. We have fun and games. You got everything you want. Well, what are we gonna... What are we gonna play? Do you want to play Metroid Samus Returns? Yeah, sure. That's a... That's all a right, okay, cool. Let's just go ahead and do that, yeah. <laughs> oh, are we getting the gravity suit? No, not yet. I mean, I, I see water, I immediately think, God, I want the gravity suit. Can I please have gravity suit? Ow. Ow. Let's either that or the screw attack. Well, all those things are things we, we will get. But it's not the thing I'm excited for. Oh no. Do you think the Chozo Warrior in Dread has all of your, like, items and everything? <laughs> I'm not saying anything about that guy yet. Okay. Not only because, uh, you know, reasons, mm -hmm. but I'll also, I'll also have played Dread by the time this episode comes out, but I have not yet. Ah, uh, okay. Here's our final Aeon power up the Phase Drift. Oh, are we going through floors? Uh, nothing like that. We telefragging? Nah, nothing like that. <laughs> Damn it. It's slow, it's a time slow feature. Whoa. Wait, what? Yep. So she has the ability to slow down time. Slow down time! Let me show you how it works. Okay. Wh oh. Like that. Gotcha. Oh, so okay. there's a super missile up there that I wanted to get, but I can't get because it's there and we need to be. Yeah. Time to go back around, yeah. It's time not, to go back around. Yeah, it's not that egregious of a backtrack. It's oh, just that's that. Well, <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Just up here, up and around. Oh yeah, that's not too bad. Alright, so this is to make sure you don't fall into... Quick rocks, basically. Or whatever they're called. Break rocks? Yeah. Uh, those things. There's situations where there's gonna be, uh, fall away blocks, and there's no way to get around it, and your only option would be phase shift. But there's also other things you might use it for, too. You could destroy a block, and then you need to reposition yourself and destroy another block. 
but you need to use phase shift, otherwise that first block you destroyed will come back before you can destroy that second block. Oh, interesting. Okay. So it's like, you know, you, you, you power bomb one block away, yeah. and then you gotta go back and shoot a missile, but you gotta shoot that missile before the power bomb block comes back. It's, uh, it's fine. That, 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 you that, almost that, did the thing. Okay, there, there, Don't just do roll, the thing. and there we go. All right. <laughs> hey, we got this new power up for you. What do you mean you're not going to use it? I'm kidding. So the Aeon ship, the the, the the phase ship, that does take Aeon power whenever you, whenever it's on. Yeah, I saw it was kind of draining. Not too fast, but fast enough. Having all those Aeon tanks certainly helps. Yeah. yeah. And you still have the one from from your amiibo scanning. Good. Oh well, yeah. That's only if we lose it though. It, oh. it, it, it gets like twenty percent of it back. Which time? Yes. Yeah, just like that. Just oh, look like at that. that frame rate. Oh uh, yeah, look at love that thirty it. FPS. Love it. Mm. But there should be sixty. Oh, I mean, yeah, it's still running in sixty, but those guys are moving at half speed. No, they're moving at fifteen, buddy. Oh. <laughs> oh I don't like it. Oh. Uh, heading back up. We're gonna. We're getting it. It's gonna. It's, it's it's coming. It's coming. The power up you want? Or? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> mm. <laughs> uh, you are very excited about this power up. I'm very excited. About I like this when power you're excited. Up. Yes. How can I ruin it for you? <laughs> I'm kidding. Also worth mentioning that this is all. This is all done uh, post commentary. Yeah. And it's that there's a uh, that drastic change to my gameplay style immediately. Oh, and you don't have to deal with a klutz like me, and when you can severely focus on the game, good things happen. You know, playing games and making jokes at the same time is hard to do. Especially with a game like this. Very hard to do. Well, it also doesn't help that Metroid is kinda samey from game to game, so it's hard to come up with topics. I mean, well, you, you can only call Samus an addict so many times before it gets dry. Well, it doesn't help that, uh, you know, one problem I have with this game is that there, it, it doesn't feel like this planet has any distinct areas. Like, you know, it's not Norfair, Brinstar, or, or it's, it's Area 1, Area 2, Area 3, it's just... just... Well, you got jungle, I, I guess. And, you know, purple area, and... Well, given, given the area's names, I think would uh, deliver a lot of lore, but then again, this is an abandoned nowhere planet. That everyone's kind of abandoned. It's time to go to Area 6, Walmart, am I right? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> we've done it. Area 6, wasn't that a level in Star Fox 64? <laughs> <laughs> oh god, Nintendo's reusing things again, Nintendo, no! <laughs> Samus is gonna face Andros! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> you take down a giant space monkey head. Uncle Andros! Here we go. Oh, here yeah. we go. Give it to me. Game's over. Thanks for playing. Plasma beam. The plasma beam. Hey. It's over. All right. Game's through. We 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 did we we did great. But now oh, it's damn. it's all over. It passes through multiple enemies. Oh, that's so good. it just carves through anything oh. and just about everything. Remember those oh. shelled enemies that gave us problems? Yeah, you shoot through. Them. Not anymore. Oh, I love it. Look at it. So I had another thought while playing this. Yeah. Samus and Smash, uh -huh. they really nerfed her. Oh, yeah, definitely. Because, I mean, she could just, you know, shoot that plasma beam about, like, three times, and you're already up at 80-89% damage. Yeah, maybe I should place for it. Okay, place for it. in good position. Oh, a there good you go. place to use your new plasma yeah. beam! Yeah! Oh! Yeah, charge shots are more effective. It's Game just, design! It's just, it's just all kinds of good. Look, look up there, there's another power ah. up. Let's go, let's go and get that one now. I like getting things. Ah, the big, well, face shift, right? You are falling for everything. <laughs> yeah, I saw that aggravated jump of shame. <laughs> I, I, I always fall for everything. I'm, I'm one of those types of gamers that always falls for We need it. to play Among Us. <laughs> I want to see your lying abilities. I do good until, like, the last leg. Oh, when when there's barely anybody left? Yeah, then I, then I do something that's like, oh, yeah, no, it's, it's, it's totally UDJ. Ah! Uh, no, it isn't. Eh. How do you know? Because uh -huh. there's only three of us left, and I was with the other person. Well, you don't know that. <laughs> Wait. Uh, I'm not sus. He, he's obviously lying. <laughs> <laughs> They're both lying. <laughs> he says to nobody who's. Uh, oh. <laughs> you saying to the corpse you just left behind in electrical? <laughs> uh. Hmm. You believe this guy? He's just 
killed himself! I mean, it's crazy! Great. I wonder if that would be an option if you're an imposter just to kill yourself to- Oh my god, that would be awesome! Cause more chaos on the ship. Like, they've already added different jobs in Among Us, just to give the game some variety. I have not played it in months. Same here. I watched one video where they were showing off the new, uh, I, I guess, jobs, and whoo, man! What the heck? How do the I get- singular rectangle. How do I get to that block over there? I mean, hmm. Do we have to come in through... Maybe from the bottom here. Yeah, this look. This Maybe. looks pretty, uh... Bombable. Aha, yeah, there we go. There we go. Alright, now we do this one. Huh? Okay, thing to grab. Uh... Um, hmm. I wonder if Metroid will ever have... Like, there's... Yeah. There would be one part in Dread where it just says, Yeah, you're jumping through spikes. I hope you have full E-tanks to get this, like, one E-tank. I hope, uh, the Atom AI breaks the fourth wall like that. <laughs> <laughs> you're just gonna have to die, Samus. I'm right. sorry. I know what to do. There you so, go. Let's go there and there you go. That or phase shift works. More missiles to satiate the hunger. Now it's time to get that other glowing ball. I like glowing balls. Wait, maybe I should think before I speak. No, it, 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 like, you should have no shame in liking glowing balls. Okay. Just means it's full of power. Full of power. What kind of power are we getting full of? Well, uh... I mean, as soon as we double back around and... Take any guesses? Again. Uh, most likely... Because of all the water... I'm going to say the gravity suit. There you go. Thank God. All right. Now we're moving. Wait. Plasma beam and gravity suit and another Aeon thing. And that's not even the last thing we're going to get. What the hell? I love this area. This it's, place has everything. Yeah. Th this area has like warm hugs and cuddles and, <laughs> and, and hot cocoa and, and s'mores. And this is where we go OP. Gentle pets on the head. There, there. You're doing fine. Uh, hmm. You you beat the... What was it? The Gamma Metroid or something like that? The evil son of a bitch? Zeta Metroid. Zeta. I think it goes Alpha, Beta, Zeta, Omega, and then the top. And then a Catherine Zeta. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I thought that was pretty funny! <laughs> Alright, a little bit of backtracking just to get back on track. So, will the last power-up be the thing to destroy those green crystals? Out of curiosity. What, what do you mean? Uh, you know the thing where uh, there's green crystals in every single section and we can't do anything with them yet until the very end? Yeah, we, we don't... Get... The, the only thing that can destroy those green crystals are the baby Metroid. I'm sorry, what? Yeah. Sorry, what? Yeah. The baby? You're getting a little too far ahead of yourself, though. Uh, apparently I am. Aha, uh -huh, okay. The baby. Oops. The child in up here. Yeah, speaking of Other M, uh, you know Other M has a gravity suit. You don't say. You wouldn't know because she never turns purple. She she stays like various suit colors. She stays various suit colored, and she has like a weird purple kind of aura. Huh. And that that makes it a gravity. Suit. Okay. Interesting choice. I know I know I keep bagging on Other M like all the time, but. Come on, man. It just, <laughs> it is that, it's just that bad. Ah. There's something down here somewhere. Is that a power oh, bomb? Oh, oh, I think I see it. Oh, it's down there. That's a power bomb door, isn't it? Yes, yellow is a power bomb door. Glad I still know my Metroid. Oh, we're going on another magical adventure. We going up? Yeah, more, we're going more, up. More elevator action, yes. Elevator action, starring Samus Aran. Right now, uh, we're just kind of... Oh, we didn't go very far. Well, actually, uh, we just have uh, a couple more things to do here. Yeah, like killing a Metroid. Metroid, Metroid. I thought there was something here. Well, it looks I'm, like... I'm thinking of somewhere else. But down here, though, we need something we can get. Easy now with the gravity suit. 
Oh, I just realized the sound gets muffled when you're underwater. I know. Small details. Look at that, there's the Metroid crystals. Oh, one of these things. Get out of here. Uh oh. You're actually going extremely fast. I I, I know. It's it's fantastic. This is the best part of uh, Metro of a Metroid game is when you've got plenty of Metroids, plenty of or uh, plenty of Metroids, plenty all of, the Metroids, plenty of power ups, plenty of uh, you know missiles, and you're you know, you're, you're kind of getting towards the late middle, early end game, and you just feel like an absolute badass. You know how everything works. You know what button combinations to use. It's it's just I am Samus fucking Aaron. I am back, baby. I collect Metroid DNA like trading cards, yeah. Ain't nobody got anything on my collection, yeah. I think she's recovering pretty good from getting kidnapped in Federation Force. Fuck, I keep forgetting that's a game. She was the final boss in Federation Get Force. Get out of here, really? She got ki she got kidnapped by space pirates, and then they kind of overtook her suit. Yeah. Well, from the sounds of it, she was just like being treated like royalty if they if all they took over was the suit. And didn't like do anything with the person inside it. Ridley's not very smart for a space pterodactyl. He, he's resilient as all he is. I mean, yeah, he keeps coming back. I mean, it's more annoying than character development. Can't get over there, no matter what. Even Can't if get over you here. jump into all the hurt. Oh, you know, it, it, it wouldn't, you know, you can't go through like these hurdy plants here. You would just bounce back. Gotcha. And the game goes, no, 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 you're not allowed. Not going that way. Another E tank, though, is always nice. How many E tanks are there? Ten? There are ten. Okay. Oh. Nice big open area, but we need to go all the way down here. Well, I guess we can go over here first, actually. Do you think if Samus goes to any Olympic events and, you know, they're trying to get a good dive out of her, using the space jump, she would just never land, and it would be the perfect jump. Well, it, she'd just get on the diving board and then just jump off and then go morph ball, so that way, you know, goes on the bottom. Sploosh. Sploosh. <laughs> like a drop of water falling into a cup. Bloop. Oh, man, that's right. Sup, beta, bro? I hate you guys because you guys hide, but I don't think this one hides. I also don't like that his face is his weak point, except when he's like, no, it isn't. When he decides, um, you know, I'm just gonna throw fire so, at you. You know what? I have iframes and you can eat shit. Now I can focus and I can do these! Get the fuck out of my life! Yeehaw! Yeah! That is number 29. Alright, now we're gonna go get that extra thing. You're so powered up now, I can see the cockiness in your gameplay. Just run through the hurdy plants. I like how you said cockiness, not arrogance. I, I appreciate that. No, I mean, I don't know how you act when you're actually recording these. <laughs> oh, I got, I got the sunglasses on, I'm like, whoa, yeah! Eat it, you stupid fucking game! Woo! Every time you defeat one enemy, God, I'm so great. <laughs> I love when I play Metroid. It's like every time I defeat an enemy, there's air horns that go off. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> MLG Gamer Pro! Uh, beat a Metroid, Vuvuzelas go off. <laughs> yeah! Perfection in gaming form. Right, what do we got here? Oh, oh. I think I know what we're getting. Please. I know what we're gonna be Please. getting. Please. So it's the thing that'll make our uh, our repertoire almost complete. Please. Give it to me. <laughs> Give it to me. Yeah, you are very overpowered with the plasma beam. The plasma beam kind of, you know, it, it doesn't completely nullify the usage of the melee counter, but. He don't need as much anymore. It's the screw attack! Oh, finally, the death yes! battle balls! Oh, screw attack. Oh, uh -huh, yes. Death battle ball. Is that one more suit I see? No. That's the power bomb that's missing. Uh, oh. We only got two power ups left power bomb and the baby Metroid. That's it. <laughs> and baby. 
And a bad bitch. <laughs> Baby. Oh, look at that. Just all those just destroy the one screw attack. It's so magical. Oh, you don't stand a chance, it's son. It's so don't magical. Don't stand a chance, I, son. I am, I am death. I am bounty hunter death here. <laughs> you gonna create an atom bomb after this? <laughs> I am the atom bomb. <laughs> I am become death. I'm also playing, it's like, so... Uh, uh -oh. Adam Malkovich had a big problem with my power bomb. He, t like, he, he, under no circumstances am I to use the power bomb. And I gotta wait until after he dies before I can use it, but... I'm sure that, you sure there are any other ones you wanna, like, do you, uh... Keep under wraps? Uh, sir, she seems to have a beam made of plasma. And, uh, she's kind of decimating everything we're throwing at her. Just, uh, he just sits her down. No plasma beam, no wave beam, no ice beam, no nothing, just a regular beam. What about power bomb? No! It's no power bombs, no morph ball bombs, no nothing! Especially power bombs. I mean, you want to take out the tri-state area, Miss Aaron? My men really need the... <laughs> they need the boost, okay? <laughs> That's pretty much what it is! They need the morale boost, and you're too good. Why else would he say, stop being good? Don't be better than the boys. What is this garbage in my Metroid game? I think he's dead. Yep. I kind of can't wait till we get to to other end, so you can just see how bad it can get. I kind of want to play it. I know that's that's how it is. Like you want to play it, and then you're like, uh, and then you do, and you're like, uh. Because then... like it looks so promising. <laughs> Cutscenes are really cool. It's it's also not a Metroid game. Well, I mean, you it's can't it's, say that it is barely a Metroid game. I mean, it still has the elements of a Metroid game. You're running around, you're shooting things, you're finding stuff. He tried to... They tried to do this marriage between uh, the 2D and the 3D with, like, Metroid Prime, and you just got a watered-down version of both. Although I will say, having to point the Wiimote to aim in first person is obnoxious. That is the only way you can fire missiles. That is the only way you can use your grapple beam. That is the only way you can use your yeah, diffusion missile missiles and that. your super missiles. I forgot about that. It's it's bad. It's bad. But hey, we're not talking about that. We're, we're talking about this right now. T t talking about this, I. Eh? This this is a this is a good Metroid game. I can't wait for the Switch port mm. coming out after Dread. That makes as much sense as Skyward Sword HD. Oh, sick burn, dog! I, I hate Skyward Sword HD. That's... You know, I don't, I don't know what I hated more. Other M or Skyward Sword. Well, you're still playing Other M. Or did you beat it? Uh, I, I'm just doing the end game and doing the 100%, which I can't be asked to do right now. <laughs> Dread's out. <laughs> at this point in time. D yeah, definitely can't Ain't be nobody asked. got time for that! I got a better chance of going back to, to Metroid Prime 2 than I do fucking <laughs> going back to Other M. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it would be nice to know, like, how it ends, but... Ooh, does it... Oh, it doesn't shock all the water. Nah. It's that bioluminescent... Oh, uh, is this science bullshit. It's all localized. And... Out of here! Out of here! Yeah, very much out of here. Yeah! I like the cleanup job. We're doing a lot for this planet by taking out all the Metroids. Yes, yes. Very good job, Samus. Clang, 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 and she pats herself <laughs> on the back. Look! I like to think that she does have that kind of, you know... ...self-reassurance. <laughs> you know how, uh, one of the Easter eggs and... It's like, high five! Clang! Yeah, yeah. At Doom 2016, every time he, f he finds a figure of himself, he just goes, Yeah! I, yeah. Feel, like, I feel like, though, if she finds uh, figurines of herself, she'd just be like, oh, Come what on. Fuck? Why did I? Why did I tell the Federation Force that they could use my likeness? She's suing for damages. <laughs> suing for infringement. <laughs> not only do they not allow me to use my powers, but now they're using my likeness? Bull crap. Why do you think they had to change her suit like five times? You know, I actually really like the new suits that she gets. So there's the like the original one where she looks like a block. <laughs> Nothing like she does nowadays. Nope. You got uh, the Metroid 2 one where she eh, kind of looks more like she does, and you got the the Super Metroid the, the Super Metroid suit, which is kind of what we're used to. It's how she is in all the Primes and other M and all that. The gravity then, suit in Super Metroid looks so cool. Then you get Fusion, where she gets infected with the next parasite, and her suit okay. changes. Then, for color's sake, the Fusion suit is awesome. Which one? 
Oh, which one did I like the most? There's like four. Well, we'll get back to it, but yeah, her fused with Metroid DNA is awesome. It just looks like somebody threw paint on her or something like that. Gonna think that she is the last Metroid. Oh my god! That's why she's being attacked in dread! Oh my god! I wonder why she's being attacked, actually. I mean, I got a did, couple of ideas. Did I but... just call the... the big... Oh, I hope I didn't call the big revelation. That'd be sad. What? Uh, she is a Metroid? We, yeah. We, we knew that since 4. You are the last Metroid. We have to destroy you. Well, it's not like she's like an actual Metroid. She just has Metroid DNA. So she's part human, part bird, part Metroid. I don't Metroid. know. Do you think these bird idiots know the difference between a real person and they a Metroid? They are wise elder bird people. They got killed by their own creation. That's why they left. And then they made the, see. The, they were fighting off the X parasites, so they made the Metroids. The Metroids were too powerful, and they locked them away. And now the space parts are like, "Ooh, Metroids, we want those." And they're like, "Uh, no." Well, you stop talking about the stupid pioneers. <laughs> Have you noticed that there are none of them left? It applies here. Who knows where they are now? Yeah, I gotta get there somehow. I can. Probably just taking an extended vacation. Uh, uh, like, well. they hear what's happening three planets over, and they're going, Ooh, probably shouldn't go back yet. Uh, one more pina colada will do it. Oh, come on. Really? Okay. Oh, that's All right, so I gotta easy. Go here. Then to Gotta be quick. That. Gotta be quick. But now I think I need the face shift oh, to go over I like here. It. I like go it. Go down here. Cause and... Because other otherwise... Bam. Yeah. Uh, that may have been just enough time. Maybe. Big old maybe on that one. I definitely had enough time thanks to phase shift, but... There'll be other instances like that. I mean, I have these power-ups, why not use them? <laughs> Do you think the reason Adam Malkovich said you can't use phase shift anymore is because she pulled one too many pranks on all the boys? It's like, phase shift and then pantses them. <laughs> Every single one of them. Oh, wow. She doesn't use the Aeon abilities after this anymore. Oh, it, well, because they're too powerful. My like, guess is that SR388 is rich in Aeon. That's why the Chozo came there in the first place. But once she leaves SR388, well, there goes her supply of Aeon, so the abilities kind of lose their, uh... Lose their oomph. Oh, but just imagine the, the screwing capabilities of all your fellow douchebags. Oh, they're just... Well, they can use a wrench, then. <laughs> you know, what a big kick in the face if this amazing space bounty hunter was taken out by, like, a fridge magnet or something like that. Just fries her internal circuitry. Or getting shot from behind. Do you think there's, like, backup mirrors? <laughs> Same as this visor? It happened in another round. <laughs> she just... Oh, seriously? Adam Malkovich shoots her in the back. Oh, come on! And, and she's about to take out a Metroid, and then she get he, he shoots her in the back, and she's, like, like, like really bad, too. And like, why? Her, her suit's, like, falling off and everything is so fucking bad. It's like, why did you do that? You shoot her with a rocket launcher? It's like, Samus, you can't defeat that Metroid. Like, why not? Because, uh, your, your ice beam wouldn't have frozen. We're developing Metroids to to overcome their cold, uh, their, 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 their cold weakness. Why? And you wouldn't be able to destroy that one. But you destroyed that one with an ice beam! Oh, well, I guess that one worked, but still. <laughs> it's so dumb! God, this is, like... This is Umbrella Corporation levels of stupidity. I, I know. It's like, oh, hey, we're creating new bioweapons. Out of what? Oh, the living dead? That's why I'm hoping. I'm hoping that Other M stays in this, you know, <laughs> this area of non-canon. Okay, would you be annoyed if there was, like, one log to read that referenced Other M? Depends what the log is. Uh, hmm. God, I don't know enough about it. Like, was, was there any... Are there any, any redeeming qualities? Maybe I should ask that. Was yep. there anything you actually found interesting, and you can go for the bottom of the barrel here if you want? If Samus would have shut the fuck up, that would have helped its case by, like, three letter grades. If she just would have shut up, and just kind of, you know, nodded, or kind of, you know, grunted, or like, you know, uh, whenever Adam does his, does his shtick. Okay, now here's a, like, a dark world thing I just thought of. Other M2? No, I'm, I'm just thinking, do you think they made her annoying so that they could have the, the sexist guys have a point? 
I don't know why they did that, because you know, it, it's it's not like she hates the Federation Force, because she, she has friends in there, you know, she's, she's an ally, she's worked with them in the past, you know, these are these are her buddies, these aren't just, you know, some douchebag frat boys, you know, she, that's, that's fucking Anthony, I forgot his name. Anthony! I remember Anthony, usually people just call him, remember me? Because <laughs> he lifts up his eyes, yeah, that's, that's the, the only thing people remember him, but, uh, uh, that's yeah, uh, you know, Anthony, people, you know, Samus knew him, uh, Adam Malkovich, she was under him for a good while, and then she's like, you know what, uh, the Federation kind of sucks, I'm gonna do my own thing and be a bounty hunter. Things that would have been explored better in the manga, but they, they, they did a really bad adaptation of some of those manga storylines. Did they really? Yeah. Because I remember when I did... Like the whole thing about Samus having PTSD. Hmm. I don't know, I don't think that's a detriment. Because from the sounds of it, she got over it. Samus got, yeah. Or at least found a way to... In, in the manga, mitigated. Samus got PTSD when she saw Ridley for, like, the first time. It's like, pre or near Zero missions, she sees Ridley for the first time ever since the attack, and she remembers everything, and she's and she goes crazy, and she's like, can't breathe, and she's, you know... Has a panic attack. And has a panic attack. And that's okay, because she overcomes it. She, you know... She it, kills she, Ridley. She, she comes into her own as a space pirate. Or, you know, space pirate. As, as a... <laughs> She comes you to her own as a, a pirate. She comes to her own as a bounty hunter to defeat the space pirates, and then she lets out this really big, you know, whoa! And she when she kills when she kills Ridley at the end. I love that. It's 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 a it's it's a great moment. Now they want they probably wanted to do that for Other M, but the problem is Other M takes place after Super Metroid, when she's already fought Ridley like eight times. <laughs> oh, they can't do it. See, it doesn't make any sense. See, that's the thing I really liked about. Other M, at least when the trailer started coming out, seeing that really good fight against Mother Brain at the end of Super Metroid in full 3D was like awesome. You want to hear something really stupid? No, yeah. that Mother Brain fight no! in full 3D that was actually at the very beginning you because oh wait yeah I knew that uh, they actually took some of the DNA from Mother Brain and they made her into an android. Wasn't she already basically an android? They made her into an A AI. A better android. <laughs> well, <laughs> Mother Brain was always an AI, but they actually made her into a fucking android. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe I just don't understand what Mother Brain is at the end of Super Metroid. Like, yeah, a big brain and a tube, but so, then what, what's the T-Rex thing? Basically, it's... Yeah, I, I, is that I, the android? I, I don't know if it's, like, her true form or... The kind of enhancements the space pirates made in, a, in attempts to reverse engineer her. What's the connection to uh, to Captain N? Please tell me it's canon. I don't. I I I don't think so. Hey, baby. Do you want to fight? Consider Mother Brain as like Siri gone evil. Because that's that's hmm. part of the reason you know like the Chozo came to SR388. They said, oh, there's Aeon here. This is a pretty good energy source. We'll use that to fund our experiments and all that. So they use that and they made their, their, uh, you know, futuristic war, you know, uh, society. And they had Mother Brain as the AI that kind of controls the planet. It's a planet-wide AI system. Kind of like what Tony Stark wanted to do with Jarvis. But then the Chozo kind of got a little complacent. They kind of got, you know, oh, yeah, you know, they kind of lost their wings. They got fat. They kind of... <laughs> Some of them got fat. One of them's <laughs> one of them's very fat. It's like if Wakanda didn't work. <laughs> it's like it's like late stage Wakanda. You know? <laughs> if the if the movie never happened and they just oh like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and like the snap happened and all that and Wakanda oh, just shit, didn't. It's, man, what did we do? It's basically like that. So uh, the space pirates stole another brain, used it for their own, and the Kos are like, uh oh, oh dear. Actually, you know, it'd be a pretty great twist is if the uh, if Mother Brain decided to go rogue. She did when she realized what they were making, aka the Metroids. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's awesome. She she well in the manga at least she uh, went rogue and said, "Oh, the Metroids are actually the ultimate life form. Hey guys, therefore we should keep them. You're trying to destroy them? Well, I don't think I don't think uh, so. Ah, guys, that's kind of a bad idea. You mind if I take over? <laughs> Come on, I won't do anything drastic. I'll just." All the Metroids. But then the, spa <coughs> within the space pirates, with the help of a Chozo. <gasps> yes, a, a Chozo betrayed them. A traitor! Yes, thinking that what he's oh. doing, what he's doing is is for the greater good. Oh, you fool! Yes. 
A uh, good traitor story. That's some good shit. It kind of, I think that might have helped uh, Samus with her PTSD in the manga, because not only is Ridley here, but also one of the one of her father figures, who she's grown up with all these Ooh. years, is like, oh, don't worry about it, he's cool. Great bird! Why? It was gray voice. Yeah. Oh, well, I was close. Gray beard. Big bird is the, the fat Big one. bird. <laughs> we actually called Big Bird? Yeah. Oh, I love it. Did he teach Samus numbers, please? Or how to be friends? Probably. Yes. Probably taught numbers and, like, how to fight and shit. Because <laughs> another thing about the manga is that Samus is very reckless. Well, that's awesome. And that sounds exactly like how she acts in the game. She, she has a character she flaw. She is reckless. She has a character flaw. I love I, it. I mean, look at Prime 3. It's like, oh, this this shit is uh, evil. Is th this phase on will corrupt any any life form it touches. Oh, well, cool. I'll just I'll just take on all that. Yeah, let me let me bathe in it. Let, why don't I? Let me just take on all that. So you guys, I gotta worry about that. All right, it's it's cool. I'll be fine. But you might die. Yeah, I might die. There is an ending. But, in, but that's a big might. There, there's a special game over in uh, Metroid Prime 3. When it takes over. It you turn into Dark Samus. Hell so, yeah! So you turn into a Dark Samus. Corruption! <laughs> exactly! It's, I, I think it's called uh, Game Over Terminal Corruption. Terminal? Oh, oh no! Lo oh, I yeah, love that. Just some, just some words put together that just sound better. <laughs> they sound enhanced. <laughs> Terminal Corruption. And yet wow. Samus is still going, Wow, this corruption stuff is bananas. B-A-N-A-N-A-S. Maybe I should just rub it all over me. It sounds great. It might power me up. And then she Who knows. And then she loses all that uh, phase that phase on at the end of Prime Three. It's like, oh, never doing that again. And then uh, Confusion comes around. It's like, oh, X parasites. Yeah, just put them all in my body. Let me eat them all. Yum 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 yum. Jelly flavored creatures. Yeah. Samus, please don't rub that all over yourself. It's just a phase, Mom. <laughs> I am very sorry for that one. I yeah. think I've already used that one. You, you, you should be sorry, because uh, I, I really don't want to see Samus Aran as a scene kid. <laughs> I don't want to see her as an annoying teenager. I, I never got seen. It's just like, hey, none of our clothes match. What of it? Whoa! Honestly, if you if you told me that after Dread, after all that's taken care of, we go back to when she was younger and reckless, that might be interesting from a story perspective. I don't know why, because it's supposed to be like, you know, an ending to the Metroid saga. Then again, yeah, they could have some other stories. I mean, that's what Prime was, essentially. Even then, that's all to do with Metroids and stuff. Not all the time, though. I had Queen Metroid, yeah. Or, what was the big bad in that one? I can't in, in Prime 2 or? Nah, uh, just Prime. Well, Prime 1, it was Metroid Prime because there were special Metro oh, duh. There were special Metroids on Talon 4 where Metroid Prime takes place. And and it was. It, it, I, I think that Metroid became corrupted with Phazon or whatever. Corruption! And that's how it became Dark Samus because at the, at the final boss of Metroid Prime 1, it starts taking your power suits and your abilities and shit. Oh. Oh. So the, the remnants of the power suit end up becoming Dark Samus. Oh, I love that! And then you think you kill her in, in Prime 2, but, uh, well, you, 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 you didn't stop That's all the so phase good. On, so, so uh, for the sake of variety in Prime 3, I remember there were there were other bounty hunters, but I think they got taken over by corruption. Oh, they all Is died. Is that why you had to fight them? They all died. Well, I assumed that, yeah. It was actually kind of cool because uh, the Federation hired all these bounty hunters to take on the phase, you know, Samus, as well as, you know, these other folks. And they got taken over. And they were kind of like, hey, you know, don't worry about it, we, 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 we got a princess, because they're like, you know, several feet taller than you, Samus already a few feet taller than most in the average human. It's like, ah, don't worry about it, Samus, we got this, you know, just, hey, hey, no worries, we're gonna take care of this phase, you can clock out early, no problem, and they get and infected they, by they the get phase. God, yeah. Yeah, but they, oh. with her with her Chozo power suit, she's able to withstand the corruption a little bit and oh, kind of utilize it better. I love it. Yeah! By the way, I hope you titled this episode, We Spoil Every Metroid Game Ever. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you enjoy this retrospective of Metroid. She's also a girl! Ah! How? No! That was the last thing! <laughs> we could have gone the entire video! People wouldn't have known! Oh, I like that. Are there people that still don't know? I mean, by now. I mean, Zero Suit Samus is a character in Smash. I think, I don't think it's a big secret anymore. Maybe they think it's an alternate reality. Ooh. Can we get the alternate reality where Other M is good? One miracle at a time, okay. <laughs> okay. Look, 
Dread is the good timeline. We had to sack other M so we could get a Dread, okay? You don't know how fucking ridiculous it is to move around in a 3D space with a Wii, with, with a Wiimote D-pad. Oh, it's, I forgot about that! It's unbearable, man. It's like, I just want to go in a straight line, but no! Like, not even the map can be clear, because you, you go down these corridors that turn, so... You, your your mini-map says you're going north, but if you look at the real map, you're going south. So which way do you go? Who fucking knows?! Mm. Mm, my eyes. Got a bit of a twitch here. Ooh. Uh... reason why I keep talking about it is because it's just... It's... it's... Baffling how many bad decisions! All of them! All of these bad decisions at once, it's ridiculous! Yeah, and that's the interesting thing. That game is, at, at the very least, made semi-competently. But when people talk bad games, they normally think, you know, a rushed game. Like your Sonic 06 or something like that. Uh, this was made deliberately. <laughs> and uh, that's why it's considered a different type of bad game. I watched the Zero Punctuation review of it, you know, just to refresh my memory on, you know, it's like 10 years since, since then. It says, the story is so awful, it overshadows the combat, which is just bad. <laughs> well, yeah. Moving on to Area 6. Area 6? I heard a sigh. That's not a good thing, is it? This is an interesting one. We only have six Metroids left. No, we don't. What? Should have a bit more than that. Oh, we six. Oh, we do have only six. Six left. What do you know? Huh. Which means there's probably only five here and then Baby? Well, Baby's not born yet. Oh. It doesn't count as a Metroid. Okay, so there are six left. Yeah, not a whole lot left, really. Cool. Short series. But then again, you already mentioned to me that all of these were practically going to be short series. This may be the longest. Just because of the, the the scope and you know backtracking, although, although who knows how long Dread might be. I hope longer than ten parts. <laughs> Jeez. Yes, I'm doing an entire retrospective. Oh, uh, how many episodes is going to be? Uh, like ten. Well, we'll stop things here for now, and we'll pick up next time okay. on Metroid: Samus Returns with. Uh, Hopefully, less spoilers. Some fun. <laughs> okay. Some some fun. Some fun. I like. Oh uh, yeah. You like bosses? Ooh. Me too. See you next time.